so welcome back um, so today i am here to give you a video regarding the one of the database which is being used by the bioinformatics platform and one of the database it is the spring database and before moving towards what is the string database and how we can utilize this particular database for our research oriented work i just want to brief you regarding what's the use of this particular database is for so string is nothing but it's a one of the search tool for retrieving and drafting of genes and proteins so it has been used for the predicting of the protein protein interaction of any of the particular gene or the protein of your interest based on your particular search so this particular database contains information from the numerous forms of the resources which are including in the form of experimental data computational predictions methods have been also used for interacting and designing this particular interaction network so they have been using certain different prediction methods uh, for example in the form of machine learning methods that is yeah, i will show you what are the different methods they have been using for predicting the interaction network and this particular database is freely available so anybody can access this particular database and this it is also uh, regularly updated so who are uh, interested in the field of uh, system biology or for designing any interaction network with respect to any disease or any target of their interest they can utilize this particular platform for their study or for their research oriented work in the form of publications so i will just move towards what's the particular database contain and this particular database is uh, been updated and the updated has last version that is 10.5 which contains about the information about 9.6 millions of proteins data we have been stored and it contains near about different uh, organisms that is the five cells you can see that the uh, different organism data they have been provided and the proteins that is 24 1.6 millions of different proteins are there. So what it actually contains, we will just proceed and will go towards the um, particular search options towards this particular database. So I will give you the demo regarding this. So in the Google search, you have to just type which is a string database. After searching the string database, you have to click on the first hit, and it will be open you in the form of the home page of that particular string database. so here you can see this is nothing but the home page and here you can see again the updated version they have been stored you and the form of 11.0 so that's the updated version of this particular string here are the number of the search options you can get from how to search and even you can find the soft search options has been provided over here also you can even download the data so the download options has been provided and this help tab help top tab will show you the certain um, tutorials or how to utilize this particular database so based on your interest you can uh, click and you can see and you can utilize what are the other features they have been included so so that you can utilize this particular database for your research oriented work and in my data is nothing but whenever you will log in or you can register from you and you once you have been registered you can whatever the work you have done you can again whenever you try to open this particular string database your data will be stored over here and there is no need to start from the scratch and to search with respect to your target of your interest your data will be saved in this particular database and you can utilize whenever you again again use in this particular site so i will show you now how you can use this particular database with respect to using different search options so here you can find that different search options they have been provided that is a protein by name option protein by sequence so if you know what is the particular name with respect to your search of your interest with respect to any gene name or the protein name you are interested you can directly click write the particular gene name or you you have the sequence with you you can utilize those sequence for searching uh, even we can do the multiple protein so here are the option that is the multiple protein options if you have uh, 
list of the proteins with you with your target so you can utilize this particular um, particular tab so after clicking you can directly view the particular sets of the protein and even they have provided the multiple sequence yes you can also provide the multiple sequence in the form form of the pasta format and it will search with respect to whatever the search options they have been provided so here um, are the different it is uh, it is shown as a new so you have to give the protein with the value or the rank so what are the different um, features they have been in included i will show you one by one so based on the organisms also you can search based on the protein family and they have given you one of the two examples so how can you utilize and the random entry you can again so i will go you uh, go in the sequence manner so this is the protein by name search so here you have to give you uh, give any of the protein name and after giving the protein name it will auto detect or if you are interested in any of the organism then it will search based on the organism so i will show you the uh, different um, protein sequence options so here you can see how you have to provide the amino acid sequence because, because it's a protein search that's why it is showing as the amino acid sequence so here are the different examples you can based on your interest you can click and you can see and uh, multiple protein options what i'm talking about is that you have to give the list of the names of the protein one um, per line the examples has been shown you can see over here or else uh, you can upload your, your own text file from your you can browse and you can upload your file and by which organism you are interested you have to select and you have to browse after browsing you have to just click on the search options now uh, same as the multiple protein search keyword the multiple uh, amino acid sequence they will show you the pasta format and the sequence so this is the one particular protein from here and the next protein will start from here so likewise you can view the multiple sequence or else you can browse the particular file here is nothing but it is showing us the um, protein with value protein with value means nothing but the if you have the proteins value with the fold change value or the log p value that type of data if you have with you so that particular data set also you can give from here it includes the ensemble id and the protein protein fold change uh, particular scores will be there so that type of data also you can give and you can search based on that next uh, that's the based on the organism search so this is very simple you have to view any of the organism you are interested so overall all the interaction network you want with respect to the organism so that you can refer so this is basically refer for the study of the any uh, bacterial study or the shear coli like this. so that particular organisms or this particular options you can use so you can find the organisms and the clades with them so after we will move towards the protein family option so in this protein family option you can search by the protein family name so this particular example they have given so they will provide you free example for each search so you can see how nicely and how uh, basically they have given you different search options so that any beginner can use this particular string database and they can utilize for their research oriented work so next example i just want to show you in this particular example they will have shown the three best examples if you are working with respect to the cancer related genes so here uh, one of the interactions they have been shown that is the 20 most frequently mutated um, human cancers so if you want to see what are the different um, 20 most frequently mutated genes with respect to cancer you can click on the show option and you can see the interaction network and here is the random entry and this we can see randomly they have shown you that if you doesn't know that how to search with respect to any of the particular gene name or any of the particular sequence so in the random search you will get the basic idea that what this particular platform is providing to you so i will uh, not show you here what is the particular random entry i will show you with respect to one search 
in the form of the keyword which I am giving here. I will take as a protein name search. So I will take one protein name that is B P I K 3 C A. So I will click on the P I K 3 C A. Just it's one of the particular gene. So I am interested to study this particular gene in the Homo sapiens. So I will click on the Homo sapiens. So after clicking on the Homo sapiens, I will move towards the next that is the by using the search so i will uh, i have searched this particular protein so you can see uh, it is showing me the default as how many interaction it is being shown with respect to different particular gene so what the particular uh, interaction it is been showing this is showing very beautiful interactions so here you can find out that uh, the how many nodes are there so the node information you will get you will get what are the ages information so in nodes what this particular symbol is indicating so that particular information you can get from here and with respect to the ages you will get the whatever the interactions with the different colors are indicating that information you can get so the blue interaction is showing as a curated database they have been interacted with respect to experimental data sets with respect to the gene neighborhood gene fusion likewise this particular ages will be defined and here you can see your input means what input we have been given to this particular database that is pik3ca it will show you the more of the multiple full form name of that afterwards it will show you that uh, whatever the interaction it has been showing based on what uh, method the particular interactions has been generated so here you can see the different options that have been provided so based on different features based on the, the co-expression data or the experimental data sets or with respect to using the curated database or text finding so based on that uh, the particular scores has been defined and based on that score this particular interaction has been generated so we have given as a search in the form of we have searched the organism as a homo sapiens so it is giving me the ncbi taxonomical id from here so that is the uh, for summary you can say so afterwards you can see the you can uh, browse number of the different uh, tabs what they have been provided to you you have to just uh, go towards the different tabs so number of settings they will provide you from here if you want what type of if you want to update this particular interaction network you can again update with respect to whatever the filters basic filters you want or the advanced settings they have been provided to you based on your interest you can just uh, update what type of interaction do you need and this analysis tab you can see very beautifully the explanation they have given to us so the network status they have provided so this particular interaction network how many nodes are there how many ages are there so what the average degree of the nodes is there and the average clustering coefficient and they have they will show you even they will show you the p value of the particular protein protein interaction data you will get the uh, functional en enrichment of your data sets in the form of biological process you will get the molecular function you will get the cellular function and you will get the references for that even the same and the clusters it is also linked with the keg database so you will get the different pathways how it is linked towards this particular gene of our interest and the rectum pathway is also included and the annotated uh, database with respect to the keyword that is a protein they have taken as a uniprot database so it is also linked with that protein domain even it is linked with the pp fam so based on this particular uh, curated database the interactions has been generated so interpro smarts these are the different database where the data has been organized and they have been stored so based on that uh, the different scores the particular interactions has been generated so in here you can see some statistical background for that so 
or what you are interested in that you are interested in the whole genome interaction you are interested in the enrichment analysis of the replicable genomes or the kinase association genes so that type of uh, drop down you can also give and you can again update for the same and number of the download options you can find so you can download what particular pathways you are needed for we will move towards the next uh, tab that is export this export tab will show you how to download your data and you can even send this data directly into the cytoscape so cytoscape is one of the tool so where you can uh, design the interaction network by using certain case setting so you can utilize this particular uh, network directly in the cytoscape so you can download in the multiple form that is in the image form or the high resolution image in the form of psv xml format or in the sequence format or the protein annotation in the form of tabular format likewise so here here what you are getting is nothing but the interaction in the form of tabular format so with respect to the scores they will provide you and they will provide you the ensemble id and this cluster uh, they will uh, is nothing but what i'm talking the computational prediction method what they have been taken they have taken the k means clustering method they have taken the mcl clustering methods so in which clustering method you are interested so i will click on the k mean clustering methods and how many clusters do you want so they have given the clusters between 1 to 10 if you are interested in 3 you can click the 3 and i will just click on the apply so when you click on the apply the particular network again it will um, form a new interaction based on the clustering of the k means clustering method so if you want the cluster should be have more nodes so I will click on the more nodes options. So again, the particular network will refresh and it will show me the more interactions with the clustering methods. So I'm getting more nodes for the same. So I will click on again more nodes of options. So here you can see again the complex network it has been generating. So if you want more interactions with respect to your search of your interest, so you can get the more complex network for your search and again in the less you can see less is nothing but again the particular interaction network will go towards the same positions what it has been showing to me so likewise uh, you can utilize this particular database strictly for your research oriented work for designing any of the interaction network with respect to your search options so what um, I'm talking about is that the download tab. So here in the download tab, you can directly download these particular interactions in the number of the formats they have been provided. So all the data, it is in GBs format. So protein links, protein uh, links with details, uh, number of the options they have provided, what type of data you are getting. So these are the GBs of data they have been providing to you. So if you're interested to utilize your data for your uh, further for designing any database with respect to the system biology aspects, so you can download the data from here. So that's the nothing but the overall uh, thing to utilize your data from here. So that's the flow and the method or what are the particular data sets what we are getting from here. So that's the overall about this great string database. So thank you and if you are uh, like my video please um, subscribe my channel and further more interesting videos with respect to the bioinformatics aspects I will share with you all the bioinformatician beginners or the advanced level. So thank you all.